Hey guys, I uh, got another video for you all on this pack here. It's the VanQuest Javelin 3.0. The one I got is the right shoulder black multicam. So we're gonna change the angle a little bit here and try to see if we can get a bunch of different details for you and show you what's up. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. We'll go over the dimensions, I guess, you know, uh, 16 and a half, around about there, tall. It's about 10 and a half wide and I think nine inches deep, you know, this way. Things I like about it mostly, I like, I love this handle, the carry handle. It's got the neoprene uh, cover or whatever you want to call it. This back strap here, it's got a three inch wide strap so it don't dig into, you know, like when you're uh, got a little bit of weight in there. So far on average, I use this for an EDC bag probably, I think about a month now. And on average, I think I've weighted it like right about 12 to 15 pounds is about what's normally in it with clothes and stuff like that for the day. It's made out of a 500D Cordura. If you get the plain colors like uh, the wolf gray, the tan, and um, whatever else black, then it comes in the 1000D Cordura. This one's the 500D Cordura. It's got the rip stop, high visibility orange inside. And um, Pretty much every good quality pack is, I think all VanQuest packs has the YKK zippers on them, so you know, self-healing and all that. And I opted to go ahead and buy the Spartan tabs, pull tabs. There's a six packs, so some, something like seven bucks, I think. <laughs> this pack also has, uh, you know, ample area for all your morale patches up front here. And there's a little compartment in behind this pocket here where this shot cord is to where you can put something in here, like a cell phone will fit without a case, that is. And then you can kind of cinch it down with this toggle here. All right, we'll start out with this pocket over here, the admin pocket. It's got molly webbing over here if you want to attach stuff. I'll get into what I've got attached on the other side there, but it's got a couple of slots. I think all together it's got 35 slots and um, pouches included in the overall pack. You got a place to put your keys, you know, a little notebook, there's three pockets there, three pouches here for pins or whatever it may be. On the front here, this top pocket, we'll just call it the top. It's got a Velcro little miniature pocket inside. You've got a place for whatever, like three little uh, stretchy organizers. And then you got another main pocket that's not Velcroed in the back. You could also stick stuff in between it there in the front. On this bottom here, it's got these buttons that snap to kind of lead this to where it can't be opened unless you do unsnap these. Then you got a pocket right here. You know, it's pretty deep by the size of your hand. It's got the high visibility orange inside there. Probably my most used pocket would be this front compartment right here. It's where, you know, most of the things that I'm going to use is in here. If I stop, want to make a fire, I got a little ferro rod. Uh, keep some baby wipes, you never know, you know. Who knows what kind of crazy crap you have from the restaurants on the way. A little flashlight, you know, uh, see your way around. Matches in case of an emergency. And I keep a Leatherman in here. It's about the extent of that, what I carry. This is mostly my town bag so that, you know, it ain't loaded up so much that I can't pack it. It's mostly just a pack of jacket and stuff, maybe some water. Whenever I'm out of town, going to the doctors, going to do whatever I may do. Then when we get to the main compartment, it's also got the snap there to keep it from unopening or from opening. Flip it open. You got these dividers. They can come out, put them wherever you want. You got kind of this uh, stretchy piece of webbing here to cinch down whatever for this. It's got a place for a laptop or whatever. I mostly just keep this atlas. I mean, if that gives you an idea of the size of what's in it. You can put these wherever you want. I think there's three of them all together. You can buy extra ones on the website. And it's got a couple of other Velcro closure pockets and you know, a lot of organization in this main thing. If you want to take them out, you can take them all the way out and hold like, say your jacket, maybe a whole uh, extra set of clothes. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things, ways you could set this up. All right, guys, so when you put this pack on, the reason I like a sling pack for a town bag, you see how easy it is to throw on, then you got it, right? Everything's with you. If you go to, say you're on a, maybe you got to ride a bus every day or a tram or whatever the hell that stuff is. 
You just pull it around in the front, you know, sit down, you ain't gotta worry about it. Bad guy, he's the one to execute everybody on the train, whatever. You got this pocket, and you know, it's a concealed carry pocket. Holds a, you know, you can buy the holster, I think it's 11 bucks. Buy the holster that holds a, pretty much any standard size, you know, pistol, and it holds an extra magazine. And it Velcro's right there. When you get the pack, you order it. It's also got the neoprene handle here. But it's got the, uh, you gotta order it to the right shoulder if you're, for say, left-handed, because your left hand's what's accessing the pack. So I'm left-handed, you know, goes on the right shoulder. Then everything that I grab, even the handgun, the main compartments, everything opens to where it's my left hand doing it. If you, you know, if you're right-handed, then of course you're gonna get the left-handed. Or maybe you may want to consider, if you're right-handed, you may want a left shoulder just so that your rifle sling, if you're, you know, gonna use it for a hunting bag, that your rifle sling has a place to go and there's not two slings in one spot. It's also got this uh, little strap here. I really hate this thing. I took it off of mine. I mean, yes, it does help if you're constantly, you know, doing a lot of laying side to side. It keeps it from rolling around you. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much about the gist of it. This thing I took off, I just got it on here just to show you all. But, you know, taking it off, it's just a pretty simple pack. There's uh, the one last thing I forgot. This, uh, I don't know, maybe you fall on a leg, this is wet, you gotta get out of it. It's got this button right here, you just take it off, and then you know, everything's off from you instead of having to take it over your shoulder and all that. Overall, VanQuest is probably my favorite pack. I've used uh, the Falconer 27 for two or three years now, at least two. I got a video on it. I'll uh, leave a link to it in the description box. The only problems I have with the pack, you know, as far as for me, for a town bag, um, in this compartment here, in the, you know, the pouches here, there's one that's say four inches wide. Every other one in there is only like an inch wide and you can't fit nothing in it. So everything ends up going into the other pockets or, you know, the main dump pouches or whatever. And then, like I showed, that, that wash strap that goes crossbody on there, not too much on it, took it off, throw it in her drawer, whatever, if I ever sell the bag, whatever. But, you know, you can pick these up pretty much about 150 bucks if you go for the premium colors. If you go with the tan, the gray, or the black, you know, solid color, then it's, um, it's a little bit heavier. This one's 2.9 pounds overall. And I believe that they're 3.3, something like that, because they're a thousand D uh, Cordura and this one's 500. Um, the price difference is $10, $10 cheaper for a solid collar. Great packs, durable. I mean, you know, the Falcon Air that I've used for two years so far, it, I mean, you can't even tell that it's been used, honestly. But I thank you guys for, you know, tuning in, watching this video. I know that sometimes there may be a little bit of a wait in between, but you know, things happen. I'm trying to at least get one more week out every Sunday. I'm going to hope to get one uploaded. And if you like the video, if you know anybody who may be interested in, you know, this kind of a pack or looking for something like this, <coughs> tag them in the video, tag them, uh, share it on Facebook. I've got a Facebook group, Hellhound Outdoors, three words. You can join me there. And, um, you know, usually I add what I'm doing throughout the day, whatever, pictures, stuff like that in my life in there. Share it with your friends. Tune in next Sunday and I'll get another video out to you guys. Thanks guys and simplify.